Hi everyone, today we're learning how to convert our fractions into decimals. So the f we're going to learn this using two strategies. The first strategy is for when we have nice easy fractions and we can do this without too much math. So the first one is can the denominator be turned into a power of 10? So this is if I have it over 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So our first example is if I have 9 over 10. So if I've got 9 over 10, then my decimal is just going to be 0 0.9. Let's try another fraction. What about if my d fraction is 47 over 100? In this case, I can just write 0 0.47. And here's another example. So if I have 603 over 1000, then I can just write 0 0.603. Now these are nice easy ones, but what about if my denominator isn't to the power of 10? So my first example is if I have 2 over 5. Now I can use my equivalent fractions to change this into something that is to the base 10. So I should know that if I want to make 5, my denominator, into 10, then all I should need to do is times 5 by 2. And if I'm going to times the bottom by something, I'm going to have to do the same thing to the top. So I'm going to times my top by 2. So if I times 2 by 2, I'll get 4. And if I times 5 by 2, I will have 10. Now I've got 4 over 10, which is a nice easy fraction, and I can write that as a decimal. So from here, I can say my decimal will be 0 0.4. Let's try another example. What about if I have 3 over 4? So if I have 3 over 4, I'm going to take this in steps because I don't know immediately how to get this straight to 100. Okay, what about if I times the denominator by 5? I should know if I times my denominator by 5, then I'm going to get 20. If I've done that to my denominator, I'm going to have to do the same thing to my numerator. So I'm going to times my numerator by 5. So 3 times 5, I have 15. Okay, what can I do now? I need to get 20 into 100. What about if I times it by 5 again? Okay, so I'm going to times the bottom by 5 and the top by 5. So if I times 15 by 5, I will have 75. And if I times 20 by 5, I have 100. Excellent. So now this is a decimal that I can work out nice and easily. So 75 over 100 is 0 0.75. Let's do this one more time. What if I have 1 over 8? Okay. Now this fraction is going to be even more difficult for us to get into an easy um, number that I can make into my decimal. So if I have 1 over 8, I can say, so let's times it by 5. Let's do our easy times tables to see where it will get us. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to times 1 by 5. That's just going to be 5. And times 8 by 5. And now I've got 40. Okay. From here, I'm going to times it by 5 again. So I will times the numerator and the denominator by 5. This will give me 25 over 200. Now I've got a number that's bigger than 100. But wait, I could go to 1,000. So if I want to get 200 into 1,000, I'm going to times it by 5 again. Okay, so 25 times by 5, I've got 125. 200 divided, um, times by 5 is 1,000. Okay, now I can work with this. So my decimal for 125 over 1,000 will be equal to 0 0.125. Okay. So this last fraction, it took us multiple steps. So surely there's a better way. So I'm going to have a look at our next strategy. So this strategy, we can use division. So we're going to use division. I'll just write that in so we remember what we are doing. Okay.
So I'm going to start with a half because that's a nice fraction that most of us understand. Okay, so if I have a half, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it up in my usual way for division. I'm dividing 1 by 2. Okay. Now I've just jumped the gun a bit, so I'm going to pause. <laughs>